Hi everybody, it's Julie and today I wanted to share a fun project that features the totally fabulous exclusive die set that I created for the Ellen Hudson 9th anniversary celebration. This is a thank you gift that's been going out in the recent orders during the celebration. It's a two-piece set that has two different styles of fonts. One is a skinny tall font and the other is actually my own handwriting. And this two-piece set is going to come in the Ellen Hudson signature packaging. And I am going to separate these dies by snipping them apart there where the tines connect them and then if there's any sharp edges that are exposed from those little nubs that are left over from the tines I'm just going to use the file from the basic gray uh, file set to file those down there's a couple of metal files in there that work great for that and I'm going to trim down a piece of pale rose card shop cardstock by basil beautiful color of pink and I'm also going to be working with the misty stamping tool this is a pretty cool positioning tool and now that I finally have some room on my desk that's all cleared off I can use this tool with abandon <laughs> it has a foam pad it comes with a grid mat and a magnet I bought a couple extra magnets to hold my paper in place and you just take your panel place your stamp where you want it when you close the lid it will mount the stamp to the lid so now I can go ahead and ink up those magnets are holding my cardstock in place so it doesn't shift and then I can press the stamp down on there onto my cardstock surface by closing the lid and there you can see I've got a crisp impression because of that cool foam pad that's underneath which is also magnetized. The great thing about this tool is that it's awesome for a mass production and perfect positioning every time. I just swapped out the first piece, put in a new piece that was trimmed to the same dimensions, re-inked my stamp, closed the lid again and there you can see um, I could just do this all day and <laughs> crank those out. <laughs> I'll include a link to where you can get more information about the Misty. So now that the gold delicata ink is dry, and that starburst image is from the Merry and Bright Holiday stamp set, by the way, um, I'm going to go ahead and place the Totally die right over the top, hold it in place with some post-it tape, and send it through my Big Shot. So I'm die cutting right through this stamped image. And then I'm going to go ahead and pop the die off. And you can see that these letters in totally are hinged at the bottom. So it die cuts everywhere else but the, along the bottom. And so you can have them popping out, but they're still connected to your panel. And I decided as an afterthought I wanted to add just a little bit more. So I went and grabbed the little tiny star from the same Merry and Bright stamp set and inked that up with some Delicata gold, Golden Glitz ink as well. So now I'm going to take a base card from Marshmallow cardstock that I've made. It's just a standard A2 card. Went ahead and creased it and used a Teflon bone folder so because I love the fact that it doesn't leave any shine on the paper when you crease it along the fold line there. And then I'm going to mount that panel. I just put adhesive all over the back but I avoided where the letters totally were so that they wouldn't get stuck down to the card base. So now I'm going to die cut fabulous three times from some licorice cardstock. This is a nice black cardstock. And then I'm going to use post-it tape. Um, I put down the strip with the sticky side up and then I anchored the ends with more of that post-it tape because I needed to hold it down and every time I put my fingers on I was lifting it up off the paper surface. I wanted to add some glue to the back of that and then I'm going to take those three fabulous die cuts and I'm just going to layer them together to create a thicker almost chipboard like embellishment out of the die cut word fabulous. So now I'm just going to press them together, make sure that all the glue is squeezed out to all the edges and everything It's nicely adhered. And I got a nice thick DIY chipboard piece. Now to mount it to my card, I'm going to use some micropore tape. And the reason I switched to micropore tape is that it's translucent. I can see through it. And I put the die cut face down this time onto the tape so that I can put glue on the back again with that fine tip glue applicator and then I can see through it. I can lift that up and hold it right over my project, see exactly where it's going to go, press it down all at one time and then uh, after the glue has started to set up I can come back and very carefully remove that micropore tape. I did neutralize it a little bit because it is quite sticky and you don't want to mar the surface of your paper. So now one last finishing touch. I'm going to take some uh, goldenrod stickles and I tap that against my work surface there to make sure all the glitter glue was down at the nozzle tip and made sure the tip was very clean, wiped it off. And then I'm going to butt it up against the edge of that pale rose cardstock at a 45 degree angle and then maintain steady pressure as I squeeze the bottle and drag it down the edge and it'll give me a perfect fine bead of glitter glue along the edges. I thought it turned out awesome. There's more still shots at my blog and thanks for watching.